rub the belly and then I'm just shaking my head and I say what 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 if what I'm just gonna say it like this you know what if there's nothing in there I feel like I, I have had enough you know like I want my happy ending good morning love um, last night was hard because um, I couldn't sleep again so I went and I prayed and I listened to my messages again the, when the Lord spoke to me in camp I don't know if you've seen that video um, when the Lord spoke to us again this time you were there um, in church with the um, prophet Neftali and um, I was just listening to that and um, after I finished praying I got up and I felt um, I felt liquid coming down so my heart just stopped right there and I went to the bathroom and it was blood so I'm like oh my god no please no and I cleaned myself and I kept cleaning myself to see if it, it would stop and it did and then I realized that it was a polyp that was bleeding so I just stood there for a while um, to make sure that it was the polyp and it was because then nothing else happened and I kept you know using the bathroom to make sure um then after that I went to bed and I lay there and um I was crossing my legs like if that was gonna prevent from anything happening and I'm laying in bed and I'm just there and I don't want to wake Chester up which you know when I told him this morning he um, he got a little mad because he said I should have told him I shouldn't be passing through these things by myself. But I'm like, it was nothing, babe. He said, but at the moment, that was nothing for you. I could just picture you. Um, so, I don't even remember what time I fell asleep. I was just there and I was rubbing my stomach. And, you know, they say that um, you feel inside of you. You have that motherly instinct inside of you. And, you know, Chester sings to this baby every night. He prays to the baby. He talks to the baby. And then I, was started, I started to do that at the beginning. And then ever since the doctor, ever since the doctor, um... filled my ears with negativity I am so afraid to get a touch I don't know if you understand what I'm, I know you understand what I'm saying so I rub the belly and then I'm just shaking my head and I say what 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 if what I'm just gonna say it like this, you know, what if there's nothing in there? What if, you know, I don't, I don't know if it's because I don't feel anything anymore or because I am feeling like I need something to happen. Um, it was rough for me last night because my mind was all over the place. And I was just singing and, and, and praying and asking God, you know, regardless of what happens, this is what will be done. But every time I think about, um... If this doesn't happen, my heart just can't take it. It can't. I was so scared last night. I don't know. I don't know what 
but to think it's easy to tell other people to trust right it's easy to have that super faith for someone else and then that itself pushes you to have that faith right and then when it's your turn that you're going through something you know you're just like well like um yesterday somebody somebody that knows um said to me um you know I bet you're wondering, like, everything you have gone through already in life, and now this is added. And, um, I wasn't thinking about that. I really wasn't until that moment. And, um, you know, Chester's like, you know, some people just don't know what to say. And those are the things that come out of their mouth. Just push it aside and... I was thinking about that, and I'm s- sometimes I feel like um, I feel like I I have had enough, you know. Like I want my happy ending. I know that in this life, because we belong to the Lord, and we don't belong in this world. Everything is so tainted and so ugly. But, um, I really want my happy ending. (laughs) Um, his mother called. And she started to cry as she was saying it. She she said, that doctor's a liar. He's a liar. When I saw Xiomara for the first time, she looked glowy. She looked like she was pregnant she looked beautiful she looked happy how dare him say something like this like no this can't happen this cannot happen she's like my heart is so sad now and it's like and i'm praying to god that 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 he's holding on to this baby um and I never heard her talk like this. I never heard her, um, I never seen this side of her before. So when she hung up the phone, um, the first thing I said to Chester was, imagine if this baby is already, um, working in people's lives. God is allowing this baby to make people get closer to him and pray and intercede and have a relationship with him. And just as like, I know, I've been feeling that too. That's my good side. I have those great moments. And then I have my moments of... Like, I, I need an answer. Like, I need... To know what's happening inside of me. I want to enjoy this pregnancy. I don't want to be worried. I don't want to be thinking about I'm gonna get up and water is gonna come down. I'm gonna go to the water to the bathroom and water is gonna come down. Like I don't wanna think about none of that. I just want to enjoy. I want to know and feel that this baby's alive. Um you know, inside of me, um, a couple of days ago, I wasn't feeling anything whatsoever. And I was saying, oh my God, oh my God, I don't feel anything. And I didn't know how to say it to Chester. And I didn't tell him anything. This is the first time I'm saying it like this. And then yesterday, I started to feel cramping. And I told I told him that, and he said, you know, that's, you know, you're, it's growing, it's growing, it's growing. Oh, man. I am... I am, um... I can't help it. This is how I feel right now. <clears throat> hey, love. Um, it's okay to feel like that. 
it's okay because you are human and that does not mean that you don't have faith that does not mean that you're not believing God that something is going to happen it means that you're going through it and that there is gonna have you're gonna have moments that you're gonna fail God what if God what is going on you know I I want to enjoy this but yet everything around it is so um, not making it enjoyable so you are gonna have those moments and, and it's okay um, don't stress don't stress because stressing is not gonna help you in any way don't stress don't and, and, and like you said it is it is easier said than don't not to stress because you know it I, I, I know and I understand exactly what you're going through and moments like that you hear a lot of people telling you don't stress don't do this don't do that but you are the one going through the situation. You're the one feeling it. You're the one in the middle of the night that can't sleep and because your mind is running, it's constantly running and thinking about things. So it's okay. Um, as I was praying for you guys yesterday, I felt <sighs> my prayer was that that you know. This is maybe this is why God is using to show people how great and how good He is, and how, despite of of negative, how He can turn things around. You know, especially for the doctors and for the people that are you going to be seeing that are not believers, for them to see that the God that we serve is a mighty God. Um, so I do understand about what if this situation is making other people get closer to God. But at the same time, it's you are going through a process. And <clears throat> a process of uncertainty because uh, you want to know, you want to have an answer right away. But we know in God's time, we will have our answer. But God will surely let us know and he will make a way. Remember that. He will make a way. Okay. Don't stress. God got this. He got this. He gave you a blessing. And, and he will not stop until the blessing is, is completely and is fulfilled. Um, love you. And um, I hope that I can that I get to see you tonight in church. Um. Um, you always have the right words. Um, I just thank God again for bringing you into my life. Oh, to Chester and said, "Bro, um, this is the first time." that I have prayed to God every day. So, you know, when I hear comments like that, I'm just like, you know, God, you're doing something. You have to be doing something. So, you know, I, I try to remember those moments. Um, last night, Chester and I, we were talking about, um, I was telling him, I sh we shouldn't have told people. Like, we should have kept that to ourselves. And, um, you know, like Chester said, if we, didn't, we didn't do it with the intentions like this was going to happen. We did it with the intentions of God gave us a word. He, he gave us a word. He gave us a promise. And he's going to fulfill that promise. And we felt like this is going to happen now. So we started to tell certain people. You know, people who are closest to us that, you know, um, we felt we we could share this moment with and um we did it with that intentions and um part of me last night i told him part of me regrets a little bit opening my mouth but then another part of me says no like 
No, you started to tell people early because you knew that this was going to go through. You know that this was God. You know that he, he took his hand that day and said, you know what? Today your wound is going to be open and it's going to happen. And I felt that. So, you know, all these thoughts want to come in and say, oh, you should have never done this. So all these moments when it come to my head and try to taint everything else that I have felt at the beginning so I'm just like I, I was we were speaking last night and I said to Chesa there's something miraculous gonna happen here and even though we don't see it like last night when I was praying to God I said to him um I have read and I have spoken and I have said to call on those things that you don't even see yet. Call them like they're alive. And I said, I always said that to you. And now that I have it, why am I trying to think of it the opposite way? But it's because, you know, all those thoughts are going into my head. So, um, see how my head is all over the place? Like, I have my good moments and then I have my bad moments. So, um... I am going to church tonight because I have to open up service. So I am just going to pour everything out because that's when you need to get closer to God. And that's when you need to, to, to show that, you know, even though my body wants to feel like, no, you're not going to do this. but. That, that 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 warrior inside of me is like no no woman you got you better get up go to church and do what you need to do and that's what I'm gonna do I'm feeling a little better uh, uh, Chester uh, called and prayed and I'm feeling a little better and I'm listening to uh, preaching and um, you're watching um, so I did not make another appointment. Uh, Chester and I decided that we're just going to wait. We're going to wait and wait that either we don't want to say either it happens naturally because we believe that this is going to go through and we're going to wait till God says otherwise. Until I feel otherwise. Until we both feel otherwise. So that's what I'm going to do.